Join us as we explore the top 10 most advanced ancient civilizations you've never heard of. These civilizations will blow your mind with their secret technologies and awe-inspiring architectural accomplishments. Number 1. Kush Civilization In ancient times, the Kingdom of Kush had extensive trade and cultural ties to Egypt. The Kushites and the Egyptians had much in common, from their administration and culture to their religion. Kush's elite saw themselves as similar to ancient Egypt's governing class. However, you may need to be made aware that the Kushites made their special mark on the ancient world. Their iron tools and weaponry were greatly sought after by cultures in the area due to their exceptional craftsmanship. As a separate cultural development, they created a writing system known as Meroitic, the majority of which has yet to be deciphered. The Egyptians called the Kush Kingdom the Kingdom of Gold because of the nation's ongoing need for gold jewelry, burial inscriptions, and gold leaf caskets. This gold was the foundation of Kush's economic and political strength. The Kushites, like the Egyptians, constructed pyramids as tombs for their aristocracy, albeit their pyramids were built in a very different design. Pyramids built by the Kushite people were distinguished by a batter or slope that made them seem more rocky and formidable. However, the Kingdom of Kush was not only an Egyptian ripoff. This was a culture that added something unique to the history books. Ivory and other luxury goods from North Africa could be traded around the Mediterranean thanks to the enormous trading networks of the Kush civilization. The ancient Kingdom of Kush held considerable influence over Egypt, especially during the 25th dynasty when its commanders took the country's throne. Number 2. Urartu Civilization the Urartu civilization existed in the southern Caucasus circa 860 BCE. The Urartu were renowned for their excellent metallurgy, architectural, and engineering abilities. They were proficient in fortifications, like the castle of Irabuni, as well as spectacular palaces and temples. They created a complicated water management system with canals and dams to irrigate their farms and crops. The Urartu people were also identified for their metalworking, particularly with bronze and iron, and for producing high-quality weapons and equipment. In the 7th century BCE, the Urartu people were subdued by the Assyrians and their culture was destroyed. However, many of its technical feats, like its fortifications, waterways, and temples, have been meticulously maintained and may still be seen today. Number 3. Mycenaean Civilization Architecture the Mycenaeans were expert engineers and architects. By stacking stone blocks on top of one another until they met at the top, they created the Corbeld Arch. Because of this technology, they built huge multi-story palaces like the Palace of Nestor and spectacular subterranean tombs like the Treasury of Atreus. Bronze swords and armor made by Mycenaean metal workers were renowned throughout antiquity. At this time, sophisticated gold working methods, including granulation and filigree, was developed, allowing for the production of elaborate jewelry. The Mycenaeans were accomplished sailors and traders. They had a strong navy and traded with the neighboring cultures, such as the Minoans and Egyptians, and with the peoples of the Aegean and the Eastern Mediterranean. They also developed advanced shipbuilding techniques, such as the keel, which allowed them to construct sturdy and seaworthy ships capable of long voyages. Mycenaeans had sophisticated military strategies and tactics. They created the Hoplite Phalanx, a configuration of warriors that was particularly successful in close combat, and they are well renowned for using chariots in battle. Number 4. Etruscan Civilization The Etruscan Civilization flourished in central Italy between the 8th and 3rd centuries BCE. The civilization was well known in antiquity for having abundant mineral resources as well as being a significant Mediterranean commercial force. Much of its culture and history were erased or absorbed into Rome, its conqueror. The Etruscans were the most advanced civilization outside of Greece for at least a half millennium. They established towns, made sculptures, built aqueducts, built highways, drained marshes, painted vases, and made wine after becoming affluent through trade. Number 5. Nabadian Civilization The Nabadians were a group of Arab tribes originating in the Arabian Peninsula's southeast corner. They first appeared in the desert to the east of Jordan around the 6th century BC. Initially, they decided to make Petra their home, 
but eventually they expanded their territory to include the rest of the Horan and the Levant and made Bosra their capital. The Nevadians established a monarchy that was noted for its mystique and antiquity. Because of their superior survival skills and intimate knowledge of the region, the Nevadians eventually established themselves as successful traders over time. They seized control of the vital trade routes used to bring spices and incense from Arabia to Egypt and the Mediterranean Sea. Number 6. Aksum Civilization One of ancient Africa's more developed cultures was that of Aksum. They devised terraced farming and irrigation to farm the local mountain slopes and increase the productivity of their steep terrain. It may be argued that it was equally as advanced as early Western European societies. The organization's hierarchy placed the monarch at the top, followed by the nobles, and finally the general populace. This can be determined by looking at the structures that have been discovered and the value of the items located inside of them. The Gia's alphabet, which belongs to the kingdom of Aksum, is one of its many noteworthy accomplishments. The present-day Ethiopian Orthodox, Tawahedo Church, and E. Number 7. Mississippi Civilization The Mississippian culture was formerly considered the peak of the Southeast cultural achievements. In addition to continuing their forebears hunting and gathering ways, these people also built permanent communities, farmed extensively, made elaborate pottery, and ran extensive trading networks. Number 8. Dacia Civilization The Dacians were the ancestors of contemporary Romania and belonged to a particularly skilled culture in agriculture and handicrafts. They coexisted with the ancient Greeks and Romans in the same world. The ancient Greek and Roman mythologies were comparable to the complex legend generated by the Dacians' belief in immortality. This concept also motivated the Dacians to become well-known natural medicine practitioners and disciples. Additionally, the werewolf tale is said to have started in Dacia. The legend of the great white wolf is the text that is credited with making the first known reference to this fantastic creature. The religion of the wolf, which the Dacians practiced throughout their entire history, had a significant impact on their way of life and their military strategies, which helped to make them the most dangerous and dreaded adversary of the Roman Empire. Trajan's Column in Rome is where their doggedness and bravery has been memorialized. Eritrean Orthodox Tewahedo Church was founded due to Aksum's conversion to Christianity under Emperor Izana. Number 9. Mauryan Civilization With a standing army and civil service, the Mauryan Empire was a productive and well-run autocrat. The Artha Shastastra, or the science of material gain, similar in tone and scale to Nicol Machiavelli's Prince, this political economics treatise takes its cues from that organization and how it operates. Trade grew in India due to the political harmony and internal tranquility of the Maurya Empire. The government oversaw the construction of significant roads during Ashoka's rule, and the Mauryan trade network extended internationally. India exported spices, textiles, and silk to nations like Bactria and Persia. Number 10. Minoan Civilization the Minoans were skilled craftspeople who produced figurines, ceramics, jewelry, seals, and seals, in addition to cultivating olives. Their bronze crafts situate them in the Bronze Age. The Minoans created a palace-centered civilization between 2000 and 1400 BC, when they were most advanced. The Minoans, who some 5,000 years ago founded the first complex Bronze Age society in modern-day Crete, are being traced back to their ancestors, according to DNA analysis. The Minoan civilization peaked around 1600 BCE and lasted into the later 15th century. The Minoan civilization is notable for its enormous cities and palaces, extensive trade throughout the Levant and beyond, and its use of writing. This is it for today, everyone. Which of these ancient civilizations did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you will be the first to know about our amazing new videos filled with crazy history facts.